What's up guys, Shade Tree Surgeon back at you again with another race participation video. I feel a little weird saying race video since I'm not really racing, I'm just sort of uh, riding along the same race track as people who are racing. But I'm okay with that. Inspiration through mediocrity. Actually, funny enough, last time I was at Croom, I ran into two guys, a father and son, who were out there riding together, which that makes me so, so happy. It's just so cool to see that, uh, you know, father and son team out there riding dirt bikes together, especially when his son was grown, you know? Anyway, they approached me in the parking lot, told me that they watched the videos, specifically that they really love the race videos, and it's kind of inspired both of them to get into FTR racing. They actually repeated to me some of my own worries about FTR races, which were, I was afraid everybody was going to be an elitist prick. I was afraid it was going to be so competitive that I wouldn't want to do it. I was, I was afraid of all these things, and I, I had no reason at all to be afraid of these things. Everybody's been so welcoming. Everybody's been so cool. Everybody's gone out of their way to help me, even though all I do on the racetrack is pretty much get in people's way. Some of the fastest A riders will come up to me after the race and talk to me and go like, oh, hey, how are you progressing? How you doing? Are you having fun? And these are guys who are so blindingly fast I'll never be able to keep up with them. And even they take time out of their day and talk to the people who are just starting out. So there's not any egos at these races. And I've really tried to convey that through my videos. That's what they said they really liked. Watching me kind of suck at it and still get through it, they're going like, you know what? If this guy can suck this bad and have a good time racing, we can go ahead and race too. So I hope you guys are watching this one. It was awesome meeting you guys and I hope I'm gonna see you at the racetrack pretty soon. And speaking of inspiration, uh, I didn't mention his name because I said, you know, I don't wanna go like, hey, you inspired me because I watched your videos and you weren't that great at it. That's what kind of got me off my ass to say, well, if this guy's gonna post videos of his race and he's gonna get out there and do it and, you you know, not be super great at it. You know what, I can get out there and do it too. Well, I guess somebody kind of figured out who I was talking about and told the guy. So he commented on my last race video and he goes, if you're talking about me, I don't really care if you say my name because you know I feel good that I inspired you to get out there even though it was through me kind of doing badly. Anyway, in his later videos, he has actually progressed a great deal. His name is like KLS Ked or something like that. It's a, I don't know how to say it, but that's him racing up there right now. Uh, that's actually a Mondon Hill race. Check it out. If you like race videos, if you like just straight dirt bike race videos, he's got a bunch of them on his channel and they're really awesome to watch. Personally, I love just straight dirt bike race videos and I especially like seeing somebody do it who's just kind of a normal dude. I, I mean, I don't know. I like watching amateurs. I like people who are kind of closer to my level. I like watching them compete. Check them out and tell them Shade Tree Surgeon sent you. I know those types of videos aren't for everybody, but I know you guys who do like them really like them because these race videos that I do they're among the worst performing videos on my channel but the people who do watch the people who regularly watch these race videos tell me constantly that they absolutely love them. They're the most favorite thing I do on the channel for these guys. So and don't worry, I'm not going to stop doing them even though they perform really poorly because I have a great fucking time making these things. Be prepared for many more. And if that's up your alley, awesome. And if you don't like that, eh, you, you, you don't have to watch. So this race that I'm going to is up North Florida around Gainesville. And when you get a little farther north in Florida, Florida, things get really hilly. This one is at a place called Gator Bat. Uh, it's one that I've seen a lot of videos of, and usually when you see a lot of videos of a race, that means it's an awesome track and everybody likes to go to it. I'm a little apprehensive because there's a kind of a large motocross section in it, and I know zip about riding motocross, but there's only one way to figure it out, right? Some of the other things that worried me about a lot of the videos I watched of this race are a lot of the areas seem very narrow with a uh, large large walls on either side. And the reason that worries me is because since I'm a very slow rider, I have to let people pass me a lot. Kind of in those choke points, that's where uh, it becomes the most dangerous to be a slow rider because you're really getting in people's way who are trying to do well in the race. Not that I'm not trying to do well, I'm just trying to do well for me. If you're new to these race videos that I'm doing, this is actually my 
fourth ever race. So my fourth ever pair of scramble, I'm not very good at them. So if you're looking for a video where people are awesome at racing, you have not found it. This is more of a documentation of my personal journey into the world of woods racing at the age of 34. I've only been riding dirt bikes for about three years, even though I've been riding motorcycles my entire life. And I've only really started to take it seriously in the past probably six to eight months. So goals for this race, as always, finish. That's always the goal, is just finish the race in one piece. My first year of racing, that's all I'm trying to do. Secondary goals, try not to crash as much. One of the things I've been practicing a lot is smooth and steady. What I'm trying to do is finish the race at a reasonable pace for me that doesn't involve crashing a whole lot. Crashes tend to happen when I'm trying to push the envelope a little bit. Looking at my last race, I think that I would have finished in a much better place with a much better time had I just slowed my overall speed down a little bit and eliminated a lot of the stupid crashes that I had. Not only are crashes gigantic time sucks for the for your overall time for the race, but you know, they, they, they kind of hurt. So <laughs> I, I do have to be at work the next day after these races. So, you know, not having any broken bones, definitely a priority. So time to load up Precious, Buffalo Bill's big white truck and head out to the racetrack. Wish me luck guys. And if you're following me on Instagram, and by the way, please do, you'll already know how this turned out. Every race I do, I kind of keep a, a live update going on Instagram stories. If you're not already following me on there, go check it out. All right guys, let's do this. up there and he goes it's harder than you think he was saying that it is a pretty tough rough and rocky course he says be prepared to have your ass handed to you ty isn't usually the kind to exaggerate about stuff like that and you guys have seen him ride my videos he's certainly no sissy i'll be totally honest i'm feeling a little bit nervous right now but I already took the fucking day off of work, so I ain't turning around now. Onward to glory, or maybe a broken arm. I really hope I'm not uploading this video in a couple days with the title of Broke My Arm During a Race. Only one way to find out. campsite starting to take shape. Now, to get my bedroom set up. So I got this inflatable bed here, uh, E-Tech City, real cheap off Amazon. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. It's a twin mattress. Last time I came out, all I had was a cot, but that really sucked for my back. So we're going with an air mattress this time, maybe on top of the cot, because I don't want to admit that I wasted money on that thing. Looks like it's gonna work. Only problem is, is this thing is just kind of. There's no like longitudinal support to this thing unless it's not doing something that I'm supposed to do or don't have it set up right. I think what I'm just gonna have to admit eventually is that this cot that I bought sucks. But I'm not ready to admit that because it was like seventy dollars. All right, let's give it the fat boy test. <sighs> not bad. It's actually a. Uh, Pretty comfortable, or at least a damn sight more comfortable than just the cot was. So I think I'm gonna sleep a little bit better this time. Of course, the first time I had to sleep in this was my very first race, and I probably wasn't gonna sleep very well at all, let alone that I was sleeping on this thing and it was killing me. I think it's about beer 30. 
ironed it. Although Michelob Ultra isn't exactly what I'd call a great reward, this stuff barely passes as beer. It's pretty fucking terrible, but for me it's still better than drinking liquor. This is pretty much the only beer I can drink on my diet because it's only got two and a half carbs. Yes, it's terrible, but it's better than nothing. Barely. Barely better than nothing. Full disclosure here, I'm not the world's best camper. Usually that's not a fun thing for dudes to admit. They want to say, like, well, I'm a dick, so I'm good at everything with outdoors. Guess what? Never camped much as a kid. Dad never took me camping. I was in the Cub Scouts for a little while, but it was mainly more of a group for juvenile delinquents and wayward youth, so I didn't learn a whole lot. Needless to say, the first time I camped in this van, I was missing a lot of stuff, and I did things pretty dumb. One of the dumbest things I was missing was a light. I uh, figured out real quick, it gets real dark. So this time, I brought a lantern. That, that's freaking awesome. That is cool. Just an El Cheapo Coleman LED lantern. I bought it because it looks like a real lantern and I thought that was cool. Plus, it was only $12. I'm sure everything I show today uh, that I got for camping, there's gonna be like a billion people in the comment section who's like, well, listen to one of you kids, it's fucking amazing. Well, I don't know. I'll check it out in the comments, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. So last time I ended up eating nothing but cold salami and cheese, and that sucked pretty bad. Now I've got this shitty cheap grill, also $12. So I got together my $12 Walmart special grill. I'd say it's probably worth about $12. I don't know, worth $0, $12. For 12 bucks, what do you want? The food I bought to cook on this grill costs the same amount as the grill itself. My whole thing is I don't care if something's cheap as long as I can get my money's worth out of it. So if I can get $12 worth of use out of this thing, I'll be okay with it. So when picking out food for camping, I figured if it's on a stick, it's probably better. So this is what happens when you forget a plate, still getting this whole camping thing down. <sighs> On my way to get tech inspection now, and it is chilly. Funny enough, pulled up next to this truck uh, when I was finding a place to camp for the night, right next to my buddy whose bike I held the very first race we did. And that's one of the really cool things about this is these people who come do these races, man, they're from all over Florida. You know, it, it's easy to forget that everybody comes from pretty far to do these. I and mean, you start recognizing a lot of the same people. I see a lot of the same rigs. Had a few people come up and say what's up to me last night. And I don't know, this is neat. How's it going, boss? Morning. All right, time to get changed. Although I don't relish getting into my underwear when it's 37 degrees outside. All right, Ty just came by the truck and was giving me some pointers on this race track today. And his parting words were, this track is an animal. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit shook. Supposedly it is ultra hard pack with a layer of sand on top of it, which Ty has told me makes things very, very slippery. Kind of like riding your motorcycle through a construction zone. And I've also been told that there's some pretty gnarly hills out here. Uh, not as many as Mondon Hill, but definitely, definitely a couple of rocky, nasty hills. Ooh, bike ain't even warmed up yet. Now, I usually like to run a gear high. Ty's telling me that you need to run the gear you should be in and just practice good throttle control. See what he was talking about. This stuff is very hard packed. And this is where these fancy new tires I got are gonna come bite me in the ass. These things are designed for mud and sand, not so much hard pack. Oh, this stuff is tight. 
Ain't nobody gonna be passing me here. Not my fat ass. She was saying about this course being bumpy. This is definitely gonna be a rough ride. Ooh, that is steep, boy. Ooh, went around a corner and it kept on going. <laughs> I see what Ty meant about not being a gear low. I don't want to run out of ass halfway, halfway up one of these hills. I tell you, I'm very, very unfamiliar with motocross. How to take jumps or anything like that. That is definitely not Josh's forte. <laughs> so, and go ahead and roll through these things. Yeah, I suppose you're supposed to take that as a double. That is something I will not be doing today. It's a weird, like, three-tiered step up. I've never seen anything like that. I am not trying to be a hero today. What Josh wants to do is go home and be able to work on Tuesday. Plus, precious Buffalo Bills big white F-350 is a stick shift. So I gotta have two working legs and two working arms to get that bastard home. Yeah, come on. Gear high on something that that long. I'm gonna run into trouble. All right, sand whoops. <laughs> Something I'm familiar with. <laughs> All this hard pack is fucking pretty new to old Shade Tree Surgeon. That almost went badly. This is definitely single track, man. I don't know how they expect anybody to pass out here. I guess I'll find out. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances today. If I was a little closer to home or something, but this is almost a three hour drive for me. Definitely don't want to be stuck out here. Always remember, what goes up must come down. We're gonna wait for that section to clear up. Actually, should go see what what's actually going on. All right, that wasn't that bad. I was worried there for a second. I was just like, man, all these people just waited for someone to get off that thing, and I'm about to freaking make a fool of myself right on top of it. Ooh. I don't want to come down that motherfucker cockeyed. See, with this motocross track being so hard packed and so slippery, I feel like you could get punished for hot dogging out here real quick. <laughs> it's like going down a roller coaster, man. That's fucking cool. And that's exactly where I don't want to fucking lose the ass end of this bike and go ass over tea kettle some freaking high speed open turn like that. This is fucking awesome. What an awesome course. There's that bike again. That thing's cool. Well, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. No, I don't think Ty was exaggerating, but my own head exaggerates for Ty. The minute he says like, oh man, you better watch out. It's gonna be an animal, be careful. And he wasn't trying to fuck with me. He was just going like, hey, you know, be careful. Don't break anything because Ty has got a gentle soul, all right? He would never try to scare anybody because he's a nice guy. But my own head, my own head is a terror. It is an asshole and it tries to scare the fuck out of me. <laughs> so I guess that's good because Ty told me to not take any chances and to make sure I went and was careful through it and my head told me, hey, you're gonna die. So I met somewhere in the middle.
It's go time. Before every race so far, around about this time when I'm leaving my truck and heading for the start line, my lizard brain starts screaming at me. And it says the same thing every time. It says, you don't have to do this. You can run away. You can load that bike up in the back of your truck and you can just go home. You don't have to go out here and line up every time. And the nerves are just as high as they were on the very first time I raced. Well, the lizard brain loses again. What's up, man? Could be a good video. Yeah, I know, man. I'm freaking stoked, dude. And nervous. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. <laughs> I appreciate you. I'm going to do my fucking best, man. <laughs> Thanks, brother. What's up, man? I'm gun shy because I got yelled at once for being over the line. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Somebody crashes their first corner, and I just want to make sure it's not me. They always say, you know. You can't win a race in the first corner, but you can damn sure lose it. <laughs> That's fucking good, man. <sighs> Thanks, brother. Oh, thank you, man. Tyler's buddy, too. I've seen your videos online. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate that, man. Ten seconds! Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> Oh, no. What a start! <laughs> there we go, that's all right. And so much for not looking like an asshole. <laughs> Got that out of the way real quick. <laughs> oh well, last place, here we come. in the first lap. Oh well. That was a hard hit. That was not an omen of things to come. <sighs> that was, that was a reminder. <sighs> to chill the fuck out, man. <sighs> a harsh reminder. I would have preferred a reminder that didn't hurt so much. But a reminder nonetheless. Whew. Ah, watch out for rocks, that would have been the end of it. Don't wait for me, dude. <laughs> oh, I think he thought I was gonna like pass him or something. Not me. Whoever you are, I might have met you earlier. Let's hang out. <laughs> Let's do this together. 
Uh oh. Oh God. I know that feeling, man. I know that feeling. I know that feeling all too well. Look ahead, buddy. One thing I really want to do is get out of this wood section into the motocross before these A and fast B guys start trying to lap me right here. This is a place that would be both dangerous for them and for me. Oh, I'm not trying to hurry myself up to the point of crashing. I'll move through this area with a little bit of confidence. Whoa, not too much confidence. A lot of rocks on the ground here that want to put you into a tree. All right, out of the tunnel. That's a weird hill. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little gun shy at this point. But again, gotta remind myself of the goal. The goal is to make it home. The goal is to not crash. There's a lot of drop-offs here. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Sketchy downhill corner, right to another hill climb. God, the front end just wants to wash out at any moment. You guys are going like, Josh, why'd you been practicing those turns so much if you're fucking putting through every one? Oh. Huh. I'd rather putt than go over the handlebars. All right. Even though the woods are probably much more dangerous than this, this will be the part of the course that I have the least experience with. <laughs> Did that, motherfucker. Oh, God. That's a short lead up for a steep cliff on the other side, that's for sure. Danger. Yeah. For real, this shit feels like riding on marbles. People who are here will be able to back me up. For anyone else, it just looks like I'm being a giant fucking pussy. <laughs> My man! Yeah. 
That guy was fucking cool. All right. One lap, one crash. I'll see if I can do better. Cool. That hill right around the corner. Watch out for that one when you're tired. Come on. Don't fall down a hill. Falling down a hill hurts so much worse than falling up it. And you know, only yours truly could fall up a hill, so I do know what that feels like. Holy shit. I want to get roosted by that dude. I think I was uh, Mr. Number One, so... Shade tree, be prepared for some traffic. Oh, I'm proud of myself, man. It's a fucking... It's a fucking steep hill, boy. A nasty little section right there. Oh, yes, go around me. God damn. I do not want to be getting lapped by these dudes in that fucking rough section. Before, I would have fallen off doing that. I just, as it is, it just looked really fucking stupid. <laughs> It'll look dumb and slow on camera, but I know myself, I would have fallen off there. Believe it or not, as awful as that looks right there, I would have fallen off. So what I just did was actually better. If you want to use the word better, not as bad. We'll go there. Oh, yeah, this is not good. The front end wants to wash out. The back end wants to step out. My man, Tyler. <laughs> That's Tyler there taking pictures to make sure I'm standing up and not having my gut flapping around too much. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I really need to manage your speed on those downhills because once you get going a certain speed, you can't slow down any further. <laughs> it's basically you got to try and maintain. Just like the, just like the hills, when you're going up them, the speed you enter that is pretty much the speed you're gonna go. All right. God, especially right there in the water. That's a stressful one. All I can do is look at the bottom of that one and go, holy moly. They're gonna have to fish my bike out of there with a goddamn backhoe. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh my god. Just being on the same race course as somebody who can do that shit is pretty fucking awesome, man. Okay. 
careful on this downhill shoot. Much better. I didn't hit the rock that time. <laughs> uh oh. Oh god, going fast. <laughs> like I said, you pretty much pick a speed, and that's the speed you're going. Gotta let people pass. It helps both of us have a more enjoyable race if I do that. <laughs> I made it. Both feet off the fucking pegs like a goon. But I made it. A lot of clutch work in this one. I'm already moved from one finger to two fingers on the clutch. My hand is already kind of starting to cramp up a little bit, but that's okay. Just gotta work through it. A lot of times when cramps appear, if you just keep on pushing, you can actually push through it. That's what I've learned with my body anyway. I'm sure everybody's body reacts differently. Oh, whoops. You actually saw somebody do that last time, and you still did it. <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. Should have just sat right there and waited for a bunch of A dudes to pass me. <laughs> Did you hear that? I gave it a little, huh? Because I passed that tree, I was so sure I was going to fucking hit it. I get out of here as soon as possible, man. Anybody else or just you? That was exactly the section I didn't want to be in front of anybody in. But luckily, it was only for a second. Whoa. in first place must have been really fucking good because I've only gotten passed by a couple other A guys besides him. Oh, that would have sucked so bad. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Sometimes pro guys come to these events, so might have been a pro dude. Who knows? to get fucking roosted. Oh, what a nice guy. He didn't do it. <laughs> I don't know if that was on accident or on purpose, but thank you. I just expect to get a fucking mouthful of rocks on that one, boy. Alright. Oh. Every time I make it up... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man, the back end's starting to wash out on that one. Right into another hill. Come on. Whew. Every time I make it through one of these hills, like I was saying, I just can convince, like, it was nothing but luck. And it might have been nothing but luck. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the other shoe to fall, you know what I mean? Careful on those downhills. 
It's gonna be a real bad place to come off this fucking bike, man. I do want to take these corners a little bit faster than I was. If that's smart or not. I'm just like, oh, I got through the first lap. Let's try to turn on the gas a little bit, of course. I'm doing that when I'm already tired. It's like, hey, I'm a little more tired and wore out than I was before. Let's go faster. <laughs> How stupid is that? I don't know. That one comes up quick. All right, bud. Made it up every time, though. Am I actually gonna make it? Am I gonna make it this whole race with only crashing one fucking time? Oh, take it easy. <laughs> Man, this is rocky. Rocky, rough. Oh. Don't let this fucking thing get away from you. Ain't that cool. I ain't trying to jump those things. Starting to go just like tiniest bit faster out here in the motocross section. Probably not enough, not enough of a difference for you guys at home to notice. Holy shit, I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god. I am a golden god! <laughs> oh, holy... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. I almost just wrecked right after that. Don't celebrate too early! Oh, I feel bad for the dude who fell, but I can't believe there was somebody in the way. And I did a hill climb and went around him. What the fuck? Who are you, Shade Tree? Who are you? And I'm coming up on my third lap. And I haven't wrecked. Knock on fucking wood. Not with me. Somebody at home, knock on wood for me. Knocking on wood out here means hitting a tree. I took a shortcut. But I didn't want a shortcut. <laughs> Definitely don't want to be in front of him. So there's a game I kind of got to play today. And that is splitting the difference between being a nice guy and letting people pass and not losing momentum in spaces where I really fucking need momentum. Oh, sorry guys, if you're trying to pass me and I don't immediately move out of the uh, immediately move out of the way, it's because of that. Because definitely don't want to lose momentum in some of these hill climb sections. Hope that guy's all right. Gosh, stay on it. Fucking duck walk it up there if you have to. Okay. You fucking did it. And almost fell down the hill the other side. I can't believe I stayed on. What the fuck? I'm turning over a whole new leaf. All right, I'm going into my third lap. Means, oh shit. That guy didn't roost me either. What a fucking gentleman. Probably deserved it on that one. Going into my third lap. That means I made a whole lap. No wrecks. Somebody's racing and they have time to say thank you, man. If there's anything I can use as an example for there are no egos out here, it's that, man. 
You ain't got to worry about nobody freaking giving you a hard time. As long as you're out here to have fun. People are going to fucking dig it. I almost broke my streak and made myself wreck right there letting that guy pass. You gotta not do that, man. I want to get out of people's way and let them run their race. Absolutely, but, you know, we all paid the 50 bucks, so I'm gonna run my race too. Oh, okay. God, those downhills scare the bejesus out of me. Especially how long they are. It's not like it's a short little, like, okay, that's a crazy drop off and that's it. You fall down one of these motherfuckers, you're gonna be tumbling for a minute. Remember, this is the one. You don't wanna go into the water. It's probably full of fucking gators. There are very few bodies of water that are fresh water here in Florida that are not full of alligators. Just FYI. No, oh, oh. Managed to avoid getting roosted once again. I just got these damn Havoc goggles and I forgot to put on any tear-offs today, so... I'd like to, to not have to replace the screen right away. <laughs> Look at him go. All right, it's time for a drink. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> that would fucking end me if I pulled that move right there. Remember, there's loose rocks on this one. Don't hit them. All right, buddy. I like the cut of your jib, shade tree. Yes! Three times in a fucking row during a race. It's no good to pass that guy because I'm sure he's going to pass me back here pretty shortly. Oh well, I'm not going to sit there and stop the race. I'll just have to get around me. It's part of it, right? It's part of it. Uh, okay. Huh. Please don't hit a tree. And here he is. Oh, actually, I think that's Mr. Number One. I'm not sure. I know he had a red plate. The very first dude who lapped me had a red plate. I know that. I hear you, dude. But I gotta get out of this fucking hill climb first, buddy. I'm sure he understands. And if he doesn't understand, I don't know what to tell you, bud. I feel like it'd be more of a hazard for everybody for me to be like, oh, let me get out of your way in a hill climb. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna finish it. Another guy who will inevitably, inevitably pass me back. Oh, well. That's all right. Oh, almost did that last time, too. Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> yeah, that would have sucked. Oh, 
Am I winning? Yeah. <laughs> that was Tyler. Whoa, not gonna win doing that. Oh, sorry, I ain't winning anything. I'm gonna win my, my personal best. That's what I'm winning. All I want is my participation trophy, which they do not give out here, by the way. No participation awards. Maybe I'll make myself one. All the way up, God damn it. <sighs> all right, all right, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I almost lost it down that one. All the way up, come on. All the way up. <sighs> yes. Don't get too cocky, motherfucker. You still suck. <sighs> cocky motherfuckers get hurt. <laughs> so nobody's going to mistake you for cocky with the way you just went down that, so don't you worry, Josh. When I look at how fast some of the dudes just in my class are, <laughs> I get the feeling that I'm never going to do, I'm never going to place very well at these things, and that's okay. I'm not upset about that. All right. Fucking doing it goon style with both feet off, but I didn't crash. Time for add a few more goals on today, besides finish without crashing again. The other goal I want to go ahead and tack on to today is complete three timed laps. I usually only complete two timed laps because I time out on the third one. Today, I actually, I feel like I've been going fast enough that I might be able to complete three laps. They probably hate me here because I make everybody stay later. <laughs> Sorry guys, I really am. Uh, I'm out here to push myself. I've never been the kind to quit voluntarily. If that, uh, that much to my detriment sometimes. Quitting voluntarily is probably a skill I should pick up. Something tells me I might not have gotten my third completed lap, though. Like, damn. I see people packing up shop. Man, this is a good race, though. I'm just going to go ahead and take into account the amount of times I didn't crash. My best race I've ever done. All the way up. Oh, shit. <sighs> that downhill with an uphill right after it. Shit is, sketches me out, boy. All right, and a right hand. Pay attention to the fucking arrows. Pay attention to the arrows, you do a lot better. Funny how that works. Well, if they let me do another lap, I'm certainly going to. One more chance to fucking embarrass the shit out of myself. <laughs> this is a lap that I'm doing for me. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe I was just giving myself this fucking speech, psyching myself up, and now here's the finish line. I'm a fucking dumbass. Woo! I got Tyler leaving. What a fucking good dude that guy is, man. I'll tell you right now, I owe that guy so fucking much. Go follow him on Instagram, man. If you enjoy these videos, thank Tyler. He's the main reason that they're actually fucking happening. Oh, 
that was it. <laughs> I love ya. What a dude, man. Right there with the ice cold water at the end. That guy. What a champion. Well, I only got to do three laps. Uh, that's all right. I still counting today as a personal best. <laughs> I've given myself a little bit of an achievement award here. Shade Tree Surgeon, official participant. Three cheers for the man holding out an ice cold water at the end of a long race, man. That guy's all right. There's still people racing, although, uh, you know, uh, probably because they lapped me a couple times, not because they're finishing after me. Again, that's all right. Personal best. I only crashed once. You know, there's that old mantra that says, if you're not crashing, you're not riding hard enough. And that may be true. <laughs> I'm certain it's true. But, hey, you know what the other one was? This guy I met up at the finish line, I forgot his name, cool dude, he's in the video. He said something pretty awesome to me. He said, and you guys who race have probably heard it a million times, but it was the first time I ever heard it. And he said, you can't win a race in the first corner, but you sure as hell can lose a race in the first corner. And I think that's the motto that uh, old Shade Tree is going to be living by for these next few races. <laughs> there he is. Ty and Amber. Go follow Amber, too. She's awesome. What up, pimps? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Thanks again for all the help you give me, man. It's really a big deal. So, this stuff wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for your your tutelage, my friend. You're good people, Ty. You're the one that puts in all the hard work. Oh, shit, man. We'll see you, man. Oh, God.